The world is invisible to the blind people, but at the same time, the blind people withdraw themselves from the surrounding and they make them invisible. Unless the people who are sighted actively try to find them out, they will remain in the dark. My first visit to Sundarban was with one great missionary. We traveled to an island. There was a small medical clinic. And at the end of the day, he said, did you see how people are suffering here? And he just ignited my feeling. My first introduction to blindness was my grandfather's. I used to sit beside him on his bed and he used to put his hand on my head, on my shoulder and try to feel how much I have grown up. He couldn't see me, but he could feel me. My grandfather is still with me. Whenever I treat a blind patient with the cataract, his face comes in my mind. So maybe that was subconsciously in my mind and that pulled me in the field of eye care. ছমাসে <laughs> We came to this island to work in an organized way two or three years back. Initially, people were not trusting us. Take the case of Muhammad. He went to a quack and now Muhammad is totally blind. It's irreversible. Had there been a vision center, Muhammad could have gone to the vision center. That process could have saved Muhammad's eyes. <laughs> There are many people affected by bilateral cataract at a very younger age. We call it hereditary cataract. Just think of Nazma. Nazma's mother also had the same situation. She couldn't afford treatment because of poverty. And she gave birth to five children. Out of five children, four had similar condition. Okay, to our poor Gori Koti have soaked up Haloe Gelly for everybody, Diti Parvo. I want the man of stone, he gets put to our ever of our hot hat or a name, boys at here, we know this is Altan. We are hot or a nez, I gay, I am a hot or hot or a name, so last. When they become adolescent, the added fear is the sexual harassment. The girls always confine themselves inside the house. They don't go out. 
There is a saying that when Muhammad doesn't come to the mountain, the mountain goes to Muhammad. Same is true for eye care in remote community. They collect the patients from the different islands by boat and by bus. They take them to the base hospital. The surgery is done and they are sent back to their villages. The follow-up is done at primary eye care centers. So that's the network now operating. We are recruiting more and more people from the island to train them up, expand the services. That way we foresee that the network will spread and people will access the service and that will create positive eye health seeking behavior among the people of the island. I was very moved by watching the life of Nazma. So when they were going home, Nazma's father said, Doctor, in last two days, Nazma has become too naughty. He was very happy to say so, and I was happy to hear as well. 